welcome to my channel. My name is Lizzie. We're in a freaking monsoon. I don't know if you can hear the rain, but it's bad. It was brutal yesterday. It's brutal today, and it's going to be brutal tomorrow. We have massive flooding. So, I'm at the laundromat. Pardon my bags. <laughs> I'm transferring from my sister's to my mom's for a week. Um, this is actually my mom's car. <laughs> so, mom, if you're watching, don't worry. This will be cleaned in a minute. Monsoon I'm just waiting for the rain and my washer to be done and I'm fucking bored So let's do a little reading in the car. Okay, we're just going with the flow today Let's see. We're gonna start with the awakened soul This is actually gonna be my nephew's trick-or-treat bag <laughs> Got it at Wegmans. It's like one of those reusable Grocery bags, but they do a Halloween one every year all the kids that come to my house usually have them. <laughs> All right, so we have an adventure coming up for you. Ooh, you're you're starting something new here, whether it's a new job, new relationship, or just a new mentality, a new attitude, and you're drawing those boundaries. This is like I'm going to do my own thing, and I'm not going to let anyone try to sidetrack me or talk shit or get in my way here. This could be going single after being in a relationship for a long time. This could be actually traveling, but keeping that six feet apart while you do so. Let's get a little bit more. Let's clarify. Where are we going on this adventure? We want to know, right, Spirit? Sorry, I look like poop. It's laundry day. <laughs> it's Sunday, and I go back to work tomorrow, so I wear makeup all week. I didn't feel like it today. Ooh, healing. Truth. Okay, okay. So, you're going on a healing journey. This could be an actual physical move, like a breakup, divorce, anything like that. It doesn't have to be. But I feel like this is a new adventure. Um, it's like getting yourself up after a trauma or a hardship. Uh, or getting up after an illness could be. Because you're, you're healing. The way they're clutching that chest, I have a feeling it's a heart heal. It could be inner childhood wounds. It could be grief, mourning. Um, and speaking your truth here, maybe you are ending a relationship, like, I just need to go do my own thing, or I'm not ready for a relationship, or this is speaking your truth about a job, it could be like, this isn't my career path, I'm about to go in a new direction. Um, you could have lost it, and you had, like, lost a job because of COVID or what have, what have you, and you thought that was what you were going to be doing with your life, but turns out... Um, you have to heal from that and start a new adventure. But this could be any aspect, but this to me talks about starting something new, starting a new cycle. Um, it could be like me in between shifts here. Like I'm going to get an apartment. I'm going to be settled. It's just with COVID, we have an apartment shortage. So I'm shuffling a bit. It doesn't have to be true for you, but I just feel like you're shuffling in prepare mode for something new. Again, this could be inner, inner work. It doesn't have to be something in the 3D, but you're, you're taking time out for you to heal. You're speaking your truth. Um, maybe things that you've been holding inside for a long time. And I feel like the speaking your truth has something with setting boundaries. Could be cutting toxic people out of your life or toxic things. Clarify this boundary spirit. I'm in my hometown. Little, little dinky town called Manila. I know you can't see it because of the windows. But it's nice to be back. I'm waiting for my... We have a beloved pizza shop here and unfortunately the, the lady who owned it and made the great pizza passed away of cancer not that long ago. Um, I believe her sister is running it now. So I, I want to go there and support them and keep them afloat because they're such a good pizza shop. But they don't open until 2 on Sundays and I'm dying. It's only 12.45. <laughs> Alright. Ooh, mirroring. So this is like... To me, you're looking back on either a relationship and you're like, things need to change and I'm not going backwards. So you're no longer allowed to tell me what to do or you're no longer going to just lead me on. I want a commitment or nothing at all. You're either for me or you're not. If it's not for a relationship, this could be about career. Like, look how long I've put time and effort into this company. I don't feel like they're valuing me. I don't feel like I'm going to grow here. It could be changing of jobs. Or this is setting boundaries within your own family unit as well. It could be that. Like, 
looking at the past and looking forward like we need to change how we treat each other this could even be a spouse like we could be setting physical boundaries when it comes to like visitation if you have somebody who is an addiction you could be setting boundaries like you can't come around until you're clean anything like that I just feel like you are in queen of swords energy not taking anyone's shit really standing up for yourself Ooh, treasure and shadow it's like you're to me this is self-care you're facing something hard about yourself or you're facing your own addiction or you're facing an issue that's difficult for you um and you're just trying to take care of yourself through this, which is good. When you're hurting, when you're going through something hard, it's really important to really do that self-care and treasure and value yourself and take that time that you need for yourself. You've been silent for a long time about what you feel you want to do. Not no more. I feel like with this authenticity popping up, I feel like you're about to like, listen... I know you didn't see this divorce coming and I'm really sorry, but I don't see this working or I know I've been in this company for 25 years, but I'm putting in my notice or I'm going to go back to school. Like it's something shocking that people will probably be surprised with, but with the solitude, this is something that you've been working on yourself and keeping to yourself. Um, maybe you just didn't want anyone to get in the way here or you were afraid to speak your truth. Let's go to the answer is simple and see what's going on. What do they need to go in this collective? What do they need to go? What do they need to know? Sunday brains in this collective reading. You are not afraid. Yes. Don't be afraid to face those fears. Don't be afraid to speak, to speak up for yourself. And 10 is about completion. So don't be afraid to walk away. Like, listen, I left my whole life behind me. I'm living out of a suitcase. Um, bouncing from family member to family member waiting for like I get it like it's really scary to go from structured organized this is my life to com something completely different but I cannot express enough I know I'm talking about myself a lot but I feel like we're all kind of in the similar similar place it doesn't have to be a physical move but after COVID and everything we've gone through and all the stuff going on in the world, we all feel like we need to change something or we're working on changing something. And I think before COVID hit, I probably wouldn't have been willing to just be like, you know what, fuck it. You know, I'll lose everything and start over. I've done it a million times. I probably would have been like, no, that's fucking crazy. I'm too old for that. COVID hit made me realize how short really life really is and what's really important and I was like this is going to be scary this is going to be hectic for a few weeks like I'm going on my third week of hecticness but I have hope that this is all going to be like I would say the first week I was like oh my god what did I do you know I left everything and I don't know what's going to happen in a panic mode and I feel like that's why you are afraid like this is all your panic like I can't leave comfort. I can't leave and just throw it all. The, I'm too old or whatever excuses you were telling yourself for whatever situation you're in. You can absolutely start over at any time. It's scary. It's, I'm not going to lie. It's fucking scary. And I probably won't breathe until I'm in one of these apartments and I have my dog back. But the minute I am, I'm just going to be like, <sighs> I have arrived. I know I will get there. I know I have faith in myself. And that's what you need to do. You need to have faith in yourself and stop making that fear make it feel like you can't or that you're never going to get past this. We're all facing some kind of adversity, whether it's like my job. We have shortages for materials, so I think we're all flying by the seat of our pants with this chaos in the world right now. With COVID, we don't know when we're, if we're ever going to stop wearing masks. Like Nobody knows nothing no more. So don't let the fear of the unknown stop you because we're all in that phase together. Yes, get over yourself. It's get over your fear of letting go of materialistic things, 3D based shit. What's really important to you? Spirit wants you to ask that and go for it, which I think you are. Yeah, you're looking forward to the future. I think that you're recognizing in your life, again, this could be work, love, any kind of situation. You're recognizing like, 
I don't want my future to look like this. I don't want to feel like this 10 years from now. I don't want to look back on my life and regret that I didn't do something. So I think you're like mulling it over or some of you might actually be making physical changes in this time. We're gearing up to do so. Let's see. Yes, be courageous. Take that. It was so fucking hard to leave everything. Everything I've had built for 15 years. Do you know how fucking scary that was? But I knew in my soul I wasn't being loved right. Again, this doesn't have to be about love. <laughs> I'm not talking about myself to be braggadocious, but I'm telling you, I'm living proof that you will get through it. You just put one foot in front of the other, and I feel like you just need that push to make the leap. So spirit's coming in. Yes, give it to spirit. Just be like, listen, you know that I'm not happy. You know that this isn't right for me. This isn't what I want. Help me get there. Like, I've been praying every fucking night through this whole thing. Like, please, God, help me find an apartment that's open so I can get my dog back and I can get settled. Like, it doesn't happen when we want it to. It happens when we absolutely need it to. And, you know, after weeks of searching and getting nothing, now I have two that might be available and hopefully I get one. So every day is a, a progressive step forward and you can't let the fears of, Oh my God, what's going to happen? Oh my God, am I going to be living this way forever? No, <laughs> it's temporary. This is what you need to tell yourself. Give it to God. All that stress, all that worry. See the light. See the bigger picture. You're doing the right thing for yourself. Even if it's hard. Even if it's scary. It's going to be hard and scary only for a short a time. But the best part, the happiness that comes is going to be long lasting. If you need a little bit of discomfort for a long time of happiness, I feel like it's worth it. Yeah, you need to change the scenery. This is about you up and, and leaving a job, leaving a, a toxic relationship. Something that doesn't serve you, that isn't fulfilling for you again it could be work or love i'm not going to discriminate this is a collective reading but you're feeling it in your soul you know a change needs to happen so spirit is basically saying well get to it easier said than done i know living proof hello i'm hanging out in a car <laughs> um the light seers tarot is next at least while i do laundry anyway i would love to sit outside and do a reading but i can't in this monsoon I even tried to do a balcony reading yesterday, but it, we had a tornado warning, so the wind was cray cray. I'm just going to try to give you as much readings as I can wherever I'm at and trust for sure that I'm going to get somewhere soon. See that queen of sword energy. Like I said, making those cuts, standing your ground, speaking your truth, not tolerating bullshit, not allowing fear to rule your life. Um, you're either currently in this energy or this is what you're gearing up to. Sorry, it's stuck to the council. Four of Cups. Yeah, you're in a lack mentality. You're, you're kind of in that is the grass greener on the other side feeling. Like, is this, how am I, am I going to feel this low forever? Am I going to be stuck in this situation forever? But I also feel like you're grieving something here as well. Tell me more about this Four of Cups. Yeah. Ooh, three of pentacles. Okay, so this could be a work situation. Um, this could be lacking in a work work environment, just not thriving like you had hoped. So you could be cutting that job. Or the, you could be in a third-party situation, feeling like you're giving more than someone else. And we're ready, finally, to be like, you know what? I'm not going to be a string along anymore. It's them or me. You could be making that demand. And some of you are with someone and thinking about somebody else and deciding on which one you love more. Or that could be which job you love more as well. Tell me more about this Three of Pentacles spirit. Oh dear. Okay, we have the Hermit, Three of Swords, and Ace of Wands. So, got Virgo energy stepping on the board here. Three of Swords is a lot of pain. You've been hiding your pain for a long time. You've been keeping it to yourself. You're also keeping these moves and these thoughts to yourself. Um, but I feel like 
you're getting close to making a plan or you are making a plan. Spirit's coming in to give you signs and synchronicities and I think you're noticing it and then this is you thinking it over as well. Like, I'm not happy. This isn't for me. I need to make a change here. Tell me more about this Ace of Swords. Nine of Pentacles. It's like... You're trying to gain what you need as you're moving on. It's like you're collecting what you're going to need or you're preparing for that moving on in secret. This is all internal. You're not telling anyone shit at this time. And if that's what you need to do, boo-boo, make those silent moves. Whatever's better for you. But at the end, you still need to speak your truth on your way out at least to release it from your suitcase. It doesn't have to be mean or nasty. Nine of Cups. Yeah, you're going towards something that's fulfilling to you. You're moving on from toxic things, moving towards, um, damn, my nails are fucked up. Uh, sorry, moving towards something that is fulfilling to you, whether that be love, career, or maybe you don't know what's coming on the horizon. You just know that you need to leave this because it, this isn't your thing. Ooh, King of Cups. There's somebody here that's got a lot of emotions for you. Doesn't have to be male or female. I'm not going to discriminate on the gender. I just feel like someone has deep feelings for you that they might be coming forward to express to you or you might want to come forward and express some deep feelings because they're they're oh yeah third party came up again so yeah there's third party energy here either you need to pick between two lovers or someone needs to pick between you but this is some you have deep feelings for one and i feel like one is more of like a toxic energy you want to run forward and communicate or this is communication coming in fast you running in a new direction, being spiritually pulled to do so. And I have a feeling it's probably towards this King of Cups. Again, it doesn't have to be male or female. King of Cups to me is like deep, trying to control their feelings, really stable and authentic in their feelings, deep love. Tell me more about this King of Cups. Seven of Wands. This could be someone... Ooh. Sorry, I keep hitting that. Could be defensive towards you, or this could be someone you've blocked before, or they've blocked you, or there's a lot of adversity in, in you two coming together. What's the Seven of Wands? Okay, I'm getting a clearer picture. picture. So, you've kind of been... I feel like it's you, the viewer, that has deep feelings for someone and you're trying to control them and not show them and this is like you isolating yourself pretending like you aren't in the pickle you're in and you've been in this energy for a long time this is spirit trying to poke at you like you're not happy this isn't for you and this is you ignoring the signs and because you've been ignoring the signs that tower moment is coming they're gonna make you anything that doesn't serve your life especially when it comes to love or job Spirit's just going to either, if you aren't going to cut it, they'll find a way to cut it and it's brutal. Hence my situation. I got signs for months and months and months and I didn't listen. And my tower moment came when I wasn't prepared for it and here we are. So this is the situation you're going to be in. Because you've been ignoring spirit, you've been defensive, you've been in that stuck energy of not wanting to leave your comfort zone. Spirit's coming in. Because there's something better for you and they... Ultimately, all they want in the end is for you to be happy. And like I said, for a little bit of discomfort, for a long time of happiness, they feel like it's worth it. Yes, right now you're gaining the wisdom you need. You could be working on your finances. You could be in prepare mode. Spirit's encouraging you because they are going to make that tower moment fall. Whether you do it or if they do it, they prefer you to do it because it's not so brutal and it's on your own terms. But there is an exit happening, whether this is a job or a relationship. Going towards somebody you're going to have a family with. Or this could be somebody you have family with now. That could be why you're hesitating to leave. But ultimately, this empress also represents the birth of a new start. Which is the birth of a new life for you. Whether it's a new career life or love. You could be even moving homes. The temperance. Yeah, you're moving towards peace. Somebody who is going to fill your life up with peace, love, harmony, respect. This is what you're moving towards. Whether you know of a person or don't, this is what's going to come from it. Or whether you know of a job or you don't. It's, yeah, you're all in your head with this anxiety. You're so scared to leave your comfort zone to take that leap. But you do want 
commitment. You do want something solid, whether it's work, you want to be paid fair, you want to have longevity. If it's a relationship, you want marriage, commitment, respect, and it's all going to move very fast. This change is coming in hot and heavy. Like some of you, you're all at different stages. Some of you are in the process like me of starting a new cycle. You don't really know where you're going to end up, but you're working towards it. And some of you are still in your comfort zone gearing up for that first leap. And some of you are further in the fool's journey and, and towards the end and getting that victory soon. So we're all in different stages, but I think we all need to hear the fact that we need to let go and let God and just go on this journey blindly and follow our intuition and our hearts and not question it anymore because life is too short. What should we close out this reading with, Spirit? Yeah, that King of Cups. There's some deep feelings here. I, I'm being pulled to tell you if you have, if you are the one with these deep feelings for someone wanting a commitment, wanting a relationship, I feel like that's reciprocated here. I feel like with this coming out twice, I think, and the mirror that came out earlier, you're mirroring each other's feelings. You both could be like clearing out your suitcases and transforming your life so that you two can come together. It could be a twin flame soulmate journey. Six of Wands in reverse. Um, I don't feel like you've made your feelings public. To me, that's what it's saying. It's like all these feelings for whoever this is or feelings for a job um, and wanting to go that way. It, you're keeping it inside. People don't know about it yet. You're so nervous for people to find out and you're so nervous to, to do what needs to be doing. You're in a little bit of self sabotage mode with your fear i feel like you're letting fear roadblock you again with the empress came out this is a new birth to a new start you could be actually having a ch child with this um king of cups if you are pregnant now this is going to be a side note for some of you um i do think your relationship is going to last a while i do think you're both this new birth of the baby is going to be a new birth um it doesn't mean that you two are going to stay together it could it could just be a really healthy co-parenting relationship um side note for some of you that's not going to be all of you for the most of you this is just a new start a new cycle and you're headed towards um something meaningful um save that money gain that wisdom do that research you need to do um prepare mode you have choices to make are you staying in your comfort zone and being happy or are you looking out to the future and deciding now I'm going for it now but you do have a decision to make and it has something to do with work or a third party situation because um, three of pentacles could be a strong working relationship maybe you want to collaborate with someone else and go towards that um, which might cause you to have to leave a contract with someone else um, and if this is a love situation Either someone's picking between you and someone else or you're picking between someone else. And temperance was on the top. Yeah, you're moving towards peace again. They're repeating their cards here. So ultimately, I think the overall message is it's time to take that leap and trust and give it to God and pray. And life is too short to just sit in misery, whether that be a job or a home or a love. It's time to make yourself happy and it's totally okay to do that as long as, like if you're a parent, like so many people feel guilty about leaving a marriage and I think it's healthier for the two people that have the parents if you really, or the two people that have the kids, if you really don't love each other, if you really don't get along, that's a toxic environment for your child. And if you grow up just as friends and you're like hanging out, yes, they're going to see that you're their parents have a solid relationship, but they're going to get the wrong idea of what passion and love is. Um, so, although it's scary and it, it hurts your heart, I think it's a more brave... Now, I'm not suggesting everybody just dump their family and be like, Oh, this is too hard! But you know what I mean. When it's like really toxic and it's just not going to be good for the kids for you to stay like that. Don't feel like that's a failure because I feel like you're you're being smart and wise and better parents for not allowing your children to grow up in something toxic. Um, and for anybody else who's just like on a career journey, everybody's starting over. Like we all are. So don't feel alone. 
Um, I'm starting a brand new job. I'm only in my second full week here, and I'm going to be by myself this week a little bit. So it's a little intimidating. Just hang. You're only the new kid for a while. You will get through it. Um, and you know what? I thought I was so nervous about the interviewing process, but it really wasn't that bad. So if that's the fear that's stopping you of, like, having to go out and interview and, you know what I mean, that's a short-term thing. Don't get caught up on the short terms. Stay focused on the long term and whatever aspect that is to you. Thank you so much, everybody, for hanging out with me. I have to go switch my laundry into the dryer, and then I'll do another one. See you soon. Bye.